Moving human remains and a major high profile statue. That's what Mayor A.C. Wharton is calling for today. It's all because of a controversy over a Confederate connection to a park here in Memphis. WMC Action News 5's Felicia Bolton has been tracking this story all day. She's live now. Felicia. Mayor A.C. Warden says it's time for this statue and the remains to be removed from this park. But according to the Sons of Confederate Veterans, it should stay right where it is. Uh, these uh, relics, these vestiges of a very despicable period uh, in the history of this great nation, uh, it's time for those uh, to be removed. Today, Memphis Mayor A.C. Warden announced the proposal to remove the monument and grave sites of noted KKK leader and Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest and his wife. I despise and disavow whatever the Confederacy stood for, but this is just not an ordinary monument. This is a monument to a man who was the avowed founder of an organization that had as its purpose the intimidation, the oppression of black folks. The mayor says he's asking for the change following the mass murders of nine Bible study goers in Charleston, allegedly by the hands of a white supremacist. Pictures later surfaced of the alleged shooter with the Confederate flag. Thanks to the kind of social media we have now, it's clear by his own words uh, that uh, what happened in Charleston uh, is related uh, to the presence of the flag. The Sons of Confederate Veterans say the flag and the monument to Forrest have no connection to the shooting and they believe it should stay where it is. General Forrest was a uh, revered uh, mem member of the society here in Memphis, very well respected, and uh, uh, a military leader who is still studied at worldwide military academies today. Miller says racists, like the alleged AME church shooter, are misusing the flag as well as the name of General Forrest. He was just a, a, a nutcase, basically, um, and uh, a white supremacist, and that certainly is not what the Sons of Confederate Veterans is about. The mayor says the statue as well as the remains will be moved to Elmwood Cemetery if this proposal is approved. Live in Memphis, Felicia Bolton, WMC Action News 5.